Islamist fighters say they now have full control of the north of Mali. In late June, a fierce battle in the town of Gao drove out the last of their Tuareg rivals, the separatist MNLA. The Islamist advance has alarmed Mali's neighbours. Among them is Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara, chairman of the regional bloc ECOWAS. In a recent speech at the London-based analyst group Chatham House, he said African troops could be on the ground within weeks. ECOWAS is uh, hoping that the UN will soon approve a resolution for the deployment of uh, ground uh, forces in Mali to preserve uh, the uh, territorial integrity of that country and help also the transitional government. The military in Mali has handed power to a civilian-led interim government following a coup in March. Interim President Dion Kunda Traore returned to Mali this week. He had fled after being beaten by coup supporters. Ivorian President Ouattara said it is the responsibility of the international community to back democracy in Mali. Events in Mali are side effects of the intervention in Libya. Examples uh, such as uh, these point to point to a clear need for a global solution to the problem of uh, transborder terrorism. But Chatham House's West Africa analyst Paul Melly says northern Mali cannot be reconquered with purely military means. A lot of this is going to have to happen through negotiation. We're talking about a huge region possibly half the size of Western Europe, um, with a small number of very heavily armed and very determined hardline jihadist fighters currently in control.